Hello, and welcome to the Cleveland International Film Festival, Film Slam Streams Post Film Conversation for Mums Hairpin. I'm Eric Seiler, Professor of Film, Communication, and Media Arts, and I'm happy to join you today for this conversation as I will be your moderator. We are pleased to be joined by the Director of Mums Hairpin, Tatiana Fedoroshkaya. She is in Moscow right now joining us, and she also has a little help today. We have an interpreter, Lindsay Radisek. Uh, Lindsay will be helping out Tatiana today um, because Tatiana says that her English isn't um, as she would like, but um, we had a little conversation beforehand and I think her English is just fine. And if that name sounds familiar, Radisek, that is the daughter of Bestil Radisek who's been um, organizing these Film Slam Streams conversations. So I would like to welcome Lindsay and Tatiana um, to the program. Спасибо, Эрик. Приветствую всех. Привет из Москвы. Добрый вечер. У нас сейчас уже почти семь вечера. Well, thank you for that greeting in Russian, Tatiana, to our uh, Russian uh, language. <laughs> students that are joining us. Mom's hairpin, really dynamic film, really powerful, mm -hmm. full of meaning and um, and interpretation and some history. Can you tell us what inspired you to actually make this film? Um, you know, Eric, it's a absolutely personal story. This is my family story, especially the story uh, about my grandpa Jacob, who succeeded in escaping uh, from Rada Michel from his uh, motherland house when uh, Rada Michel was under German occupation in 1941. Yeah, and I um, wanted to make this film since I became a filmmaker because um, I feel something inside uh, like, like a duty that I, that I must and I uh, needed to, to share my story to the world, yeah. Okay, so this is, um... Is this a, 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 a true story? Is it very accurate? Did you have a family member named Yasha and um, yes. the mother and a sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, One... uh, yes, yes, sorry, Eric, yeah. Oh, good, okay. Oh, that's very, very interesting. So once you heard the story, you decided to make the film, how long did it take you to actually make the film? Um, you mean uh, from the beginning to writing the script or, yeah? Exactly. Um, yeah. So I started uh, writing a script uh, um, on the May of um, 2019 and then uh, July, uh, in the middle of July, we started uh, to shooting the film in Belarus, and then, so uh, basically it takes, uh, take maybe four, four and a half months. I see, yeah, that's a- Four and a half yeah. months. Yeah, that's um, pretty quick for um, a film of that quality. Let's talk a little more specifically about the film, especially the use mm -hmm. of color. Mm -hmm. You decided to show, um, the red um, in the film, the red hair in the film. Why did you decide to use color yeah. in that film? You know, uh, uh, first of all, uh, this is the color of um, of hair of my grand grandpa, Jacob. And uh, this is like the first reason. The second reason, um, during color grading the, um, the film, I decided to leave only only color uh, hair color because um, this is like historical film, and uh, I wanted to make it not uh, black and white, uh, but with very important uh, with very important. Um, 
like um, mm, mm, with very important uh, attention on, on the color. Uh, and this is the cherry, this is the blood, and this is the uh, um, color of, of hair. For me, it was very important. It's like cinema language. It, exactly, it, it, it is very strong language. And I thank you for um, providing that interpretation uh, for us. Can you, um, uh, let's uh, go to the um, ending. Can you um, interpret the ending mm -hmm. for us? Um, does Yasha really um, escape uh -huh. at the end? What happened at the end? Uh, you mean in a real life or? <laughs> well, in the film and I guess also yes, in real life. The, in the, yeah, he, he uh, the, the German officer uh, in the um, last scene, the German officer, when he got the, uh, the hairpins, like the swastika, swastika, is it correct word? Right. Yeah. The swastika uh, made by, uh, um, uh, mom's hairpins, the hairpins, and he decided to let uh, Yasha's, Yasha go. And he uh, sh uh, sh showed his eyes, by his eyes, let go, just let go. And uh, yeah, if we are talking about the film and like in a, in a real life, uh, my grandpa and my hero from the film, he, um, succeeded in escaping. Uh, oh, good. Now, um, another um, aspect of the film was um, the goat. Um, the, yeah. that, was the goat really a companion in real life? Was that something you added to make the film more interesting? No, it's just, uh, it was my uh, fantasy uh, during the writing, yeah, writing the script, because I thought that I need to, some character like Yasha, but uh, maybe like a metaphor, um, not uh, maybe another child, but maybe the animal, because this animal uh, wants to uh, be safer, like a, like a, like a kid, like a, like a child, like Yasha. And uh, yeah, they, they, in my imagination, they must be together in this horrible time, in this tough period. Yeah. Right. Uh, it was a, a nice friend for um, Yasha to have during this um, yes. terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good company. Exactly. Now, um, during the production, I just have to ask this, how was it working with the goat? Did the goat um, was it easy? To, did the goat behave? <laughs> no, you know, now I know that uh, goats, the, like animals, uh, goats are very, very hard to be trained. And um, I started to, um, to create some mise-en-scene, mise scenes uh, with very, very simple task for goat. And uh, for example, when Yasha chasing, uh, uh, when Yasha running the long, long uh, uh, forest, um, through the forest, and uh, the goat uh, chasing, uh, follow, um, followed by carrot that Yasha uh, um, uh, hold in his, in, his, in his arm. Sorry for my uh, terrible, English, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm trying. You understand me, yeah? Uh, or I need to 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 speak in Russian. It's okay. No, you're doing just fine. If you want to speak in Russian, you can. Lindsay is here okay. to help. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, well, well, can I repeat it? Just maybe in Russian. Um, Мне пришлось создать такие мизансцены с очень короткими задачами от пункта А в пункт Б для козлика, и когда мы помещали, и эти мизансцены помещались в обстановку нашего фильма, то мы, зритель понимал, что козлику тоже страшно, и он тоже хочет спастись. Но внутри задача была очень простая. 
So we would set up these tasks for the goat and these scenes to shoot, and it would just be really simple to get him from point A to point B, and those proved to be extremely difficult, and the goat wanted to do its own thing, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, that, that's very um, commendable to you and your production crew to work with the goat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, I just want to remind everyone, we are talking to the director of Mums Hairpin, Tatiana Fedorovskaya. Um, if you have questions, please put them in the Q&A and we will get to them as time allows. We also have Lindsay Radisek, who's interpreting um, for um, Tatiana as needed as well. Okay, um, with the film, uh, how was the film received? What, what, was the re what has the reaction been to people when they've seen this film? Mm. Uh, you know, Eric, first, just to know the, the story. Um, yeah, uh, Lindsay, sorry, do I understand the, the correct? Yes, you're muted, Lindsay, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, Eric. Um, some some uh, 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 spectators or audience uh, uh, wrote me letter about their uh, relatives who um, had this experience, uh, terrible experience, um, and basically, yeah, basically, audience t told me that this is um, this is heartbroken story and touchable, um, touchable um, narration. Well, it, interesting. So it, it meant a lot to people to actually see this film. I take it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have a, a question that has come in. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, question is, um, see if I can uh, make this um, clear. Is um, why did the um, why why did um, Yasha um, take the um, hairpins with them when he decided to run? So I, I guess um, Yasha sensed danger. Why did he just run without the hairpins? Why did he take them? We never, you know, we never, me and other grand, uh, grand um, children never asked uh, our grandpa, but I, um, I think uh, maybe it was like reflection, maybe just like some sudden, sudden, suddenly, sudden reflection with the, with the movement, I don't know. Okay, so because in real life, he, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe you know, Eric, maybe because uh, Yasha um, had in his uh, mind, in his brain, um, mom's ask to bring the hairpins. Maybe it was like the last, uh, the last question, the last um, ask from mom. Maybe something like this. Exactly. So did that that really happen um, in real life? He actually took yeah, the hair. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's, um, that's really remarkable uh, that he did that. Okay, another question we have that's come in is, um, how did you um, make the house burn down? Uh, did you have to actually burn down a house? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, we, <laughs> we've made this shooting in, uh, uh, in a Bela Belarus, Belarus. And um, when we've been in, in, in the searching location for shooting, we found two absolutely uh, same uh, locations, two abandoned houses. One house was uh, like from the beginning of the film, uh, the, not the new one, but the normal condition. And the uh, other uh, with the neighbor village, uh, we found uh, this, uh, burnt house and it was absolutely the same um, shape because it's typical uh, houses in in that region region 
I no, see. it was two different locations. <laughs> yeah. I figured that, but that's an interesting question. So some good questions, um, students. Um, please keep them coming in. Also, can you tell us what is next for you? What are you working on next and which we can hopefully see soon? You know, now I am intensively involved in post-production of my feature debut film, debut, debut film, White Whale. And um, I hope I will finish this film maybe uh, in the spring of 2021. Yeah. Oh, great. And, and uh, my debut, my debut. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit what that film is about? Is it another historical piece? No, it's a absolutely modern story about some um, very um, rich people, especially family, lawyer's family, who um, return back uh, their adopted children back to the orphanage. It's a typical story in Russian society. Every fourth uh, children uh, returned to the orphanage by Sounds their forced adopted parents. Yeah. Sounds it's, interesting. Um, it's again see. true story. <clears throat> oh, good. You like to uh, do true stories. That's that's good. Um, we have a mm -hmm. um, question that's coming in. Um, on Torsi and the German officer looked almost like a god, and I thought that Yasha was dead. Why did you have um, Yasha looking up to the German soldier like that? So I guess the way you created that scene was really powerful. He was like up in the mm -hmm. the sky, the German so soldier. So you carefully created the scene that yeah. way. Did you choose to do it that yeah. way? Yeah, uh, you know, I I never uh, I never uh, thought about like uh, the image of the German officer like a god because uh, yeah on the heaven or, or on the on the sky, I never thought thought about it. But it's very interesting. But uh, <laughs> you know, mm, during five years uh, regarding the, the Russia, yeah, the, and Ukraine and Belarus regarding our countries. Uh, we were like uh, in the in the war with the German occupation with German soldiers, and it was like uh, I wanted to create like a symbol, uh, like a metaphor. Um, the German uh, soldier uh, on the sky and the dark, черный um, dim, black lensy. Can you help? Black smoke. Uh, black, black smoke, uh, black smoke, yeah, uh, behind him. Uh, it's like a, a terrible era. And yeah, now I'm a bit confused about the image, image, image of God. I need to think about it. Thank you for the question. Well, no, yeah, but that's good because film, as you know, has a lot of like, meaning, something different to everyone. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. It's, yeah. it's interesting, and sometimes you don't intend to do something and it works out. So I think that worked out. <laughs> um, Absolutely. My last question I have for you before we have to let you go is you spent a lot of time in post production on, on, on this film. Yeah. And um, yeah. did you editing yourself or did you have an editor? Um. I made all my short films with the uh, editor and uh, my debut film, uh, White Whale, with one editor guy, uh, Alexei. Um, we work together uh, because he, um, because he's first, he's talent, talented guy. And the, the second reason he is a um, uh, musician and he had a very good reason this is very very important for for editing yeah and uh, yeah I, we we do it together we do it together we like uh, feel each other it's, it's exactly it's very good i mean you spent a lot of time not only with the um color effects but just yeah. piecing everything together to tell the story and um i i liked it personally how 
you did not always have to have dialogue, but Yasha did a really good job of um, carrying the film. I know we're out of time, but I just want to ask you about Yasha. Uh, how did you find Yasha? Is mm -hmm. it, did you audition him or is that someone you knew? No, no, you know, very maybe uh, first year, uh, hour, hour, sorry, when I posted the, like uh, uh, the task uh, for on my Facebook page, and one of my uh, friend uh, sent me the video with Yasha when he uh, sang some uh, stupid song, and you know, I suddenly, when I saw him, I suddenly underst understood that he absolutely looks like my grandpa Jacob. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it's something, something miracle happened at this, at that, that time. It's, it's not uh, just, I was looking for some boy for this role, no, but something, something special happened with this, uh, Oh, oh, not audition with this casting process. Yeah, Good. miracle, uh, absolutely. Yeah, it worked out well. Um, well, I guess you were pleased. Um, I keep saying last question. This is last yeah. question. Thing you would do differently? <laughs> okay, uh, differently um, with this film. <sighs> yes, I maybe I I. Mm, continue I would continue to shoot maybe two more days I feel it because I um, it, it's it uh, for me it was not enough time for this um, for this story yeah maybe so two more shooting days two more shooting days just to make things better or to make the story longer no, make uh, some scenes better, yeah. Oh, some scenes. Can you tell us like one of the scenes that you wanted to make better? <laughs> um, the, the very first scene uh, when, not the very first, but the, from, 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 from the beginning, when, uh, the, when we see in the mirror, um, like um, the cruel scene with the family and Germans and Nazi. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe I, I would uh, do it, would make it not um, more elegant, not like uh, with open way, if I can say it. Okay. Well, elegant, okay, well. Maybe a bit hide something yeah. Right. It's, it's really good to hear your opinion and hear you criticize yourself because I and I'm sure people who watched this film um, didn't see that it, that scene wasn't as elegant as it could. <laughs> well, um, Tatia, thank you so much for joining us today. And um, students, thank you very much. We are pleased to have once again the director of Mom's, Mom's Hairpin, Tatiana Fidoroch. Um, Fidoroskaya, I, I got that correct, and um, the, uh, Lindsay Radisek for interpreting for us, which you didn't have to do much because your English is very good, Tatiana. Yeah. Uh, thank oh, yes. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for joining us. And um, do you want to say a special goodbye to um, our one, uh, Russian language students? Yes. Um, уважаемые студенты, uh, спасибо вам большое за то, что вы задали очень внимательные и потрясающие вопросы, и я сейчас буду о чем-то думать специальном. Спасибо большое по поводу неба особенно. И um, хорошего вам дня. Может быть, увидимся в следующий раз на обсуждении моего следующего фильма Faith. Спасибо. До свидания. Okay, Lindsay, can you help us out for... Um... With the... Yes, thank you, dear students, for your really thoughtful, great questions. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and hopefully I'll see you at the discussion of my next film. 
I hope so too. Thank you all again. Thank you students for participating. And um, if you're interested in learning more about the 45th Cleveland International Film Festival, please visit clevelandfilm.org. I'm Eric Seiler. Thank you.